aspect to, you know, when can I telling yourself when you can go full speed on it and without being worried about it? Say it again. Is there a mental aspect to that? Just really until you finally officially trust it to go full out on it because I know they're tricky. Yeah, they tricky, and this is my first one, so I'm just trying to make sure um, it doesn't happen again. Just right. taking all the precautions. That's why, um, in practice, I'm just trying to, you know, strain a little bit to see where it's at, you know, leading up to this week. What, what, what was practice like today? Returning back out there. It was good. Uh, I was been missing for a minute, so I ain't never been out this long either. So it, it felt real good being out there with the guys. Do you treat it differently, you know, when when you're in the quarter time? It's crazy, you know, just coming back and then want to be cold today. But uh, just being in practice, you know, it's cold. It is what it is late in the season. You know, like I said, just making sure it's right, just getting it getting it um, fired up and team and all the things I can to make sure it's ready um, leading up to this week. How good of you, Cole, was it watching these last three? And, uh, you know, could you give the defense a boost with your return? Uh, it was, you know, just watching the games and not being out there definitely – you know, make you uh, want to, you know, want to get out there quicker and make sure everything is is, is straight on my behalf. But um, of course, you know, being out there, I feel like I get a, a, the defense and the team some some juice always just by uh, by presence being out there and uh, leadership and um, just going out there and making plays. What do you feel like you need to see from yourself on the field to make you feel confident that you're strong enough to go back out? Um, just being myself. Whether you know just in coverage and tackling, and uh, just not having those second guesses about uh, my hamstring or nothing like that, just going out there playing free. When did you heard it? It looked like in that San Francisco game, and then you play the next week. Was right. that? Did you reaggravate it? Like what exactly? Yeah, I reaggravated it. Um, you know the San Fran game. I tweeted and, um, like I said, I never had an injury before, so um, just going going up. The next week in practice, I just felt that it was it was still good to go. I was still top speed and all that, and I just uh, played and it, it, you know pulled or whatever. So um, you know, just making sure I do everything right leading up this week to make sure it's um, ready to go. Did you know right away that like, what, what what in Cincinnati when when it happened? Like, did you know right yeah. away? Yeah, yeah, I knew I knew it happened. Um, it just felt a little bit different than the San Fran game. So um, yeah, I knew. They announced it as a thigh originally. Say it again. They announced it as a thigh originally. Yeah, cause like I, I never had it before, so okay. yeah, it was, it was, yeah, that's why I played. So, um, ended up being a little worse. The, the NFLPA and and some players have come out uh, within the last week or so talking about um, concerns about artificial turf and a preference for natural grass. Do you have an opinion on that? Uh. I feel like everybody in the league probably prefer grass just for it to, uh, to give on our legs, our lower body. Um, and, you know, I, I, God forbid, you know, I never had no injury on turf for real, but that's the most common so far, turf. AJ, your face lit up even when you were talking about just getting back to practice today. Mm -hmm. What has this waiting process been like? You said you haven't obviously experienced being out like this. Yeah, you know, just, just a little bit. Um, I'd say like a little stress just from being out. Like I said, I've never been out this long. And uh, just being able to get back out there, suit up with some cleats and shoulder pads and helmet and just be out there with the team felt real good. How you, difficult is it balancing? Like you said, you don't want to push it and, and go too soon, but also obviously you're itching. To right. Back. Well, this is the perfect time to do it in practice, just making sure I know where I'm at. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pushing as much as I can just to, uh, just to see where I'm at. Did you learn anything? Because, like you said, you haven't been out this long, at least in the NFL. Like, was there things that you picked up and learned that maybe you wouldn't have otherwise? Just, just making sure, um, just get treatment, make sure everything is is uh, the right way. You know, not just this hamstring, but working on the other hamstring, making sure my shoulders and everything together. Mm -hmm. Just anything to, to eliminate any type of uh, future injury or something that could occur in the future. Just making sure I'm. Uh, and full strength and you know, all facets. I, I meant more even just from a football perspective, like from watching on these. You haven't really watched, right. what, years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, was there th were the things you were able to pick up watching that maybe you hadn't been able to necessarily pick up before? Uh, Is that too much of a rookie question? 
Nah, it's, it's you know mental reps is good. Yeah. You know, just uh, watching games, watching practice, and um, you know, watching from afar is definitely uh, it's good. But you, you know, like myself, I want to be out there. But like I like you said, I've never been out there um, missing that that long, missing this many games. So. Um, like I said, it's a blessing to be back a little bit and just get moving with the team and uh, just waiting to see what comes forward. If you are back this week, can you talk about the challenge of, of what Justin Fields brings? Yeah, mo mobile quarterback. Um, you know, he's got, gotten better throughout the week and uh, got a lot better from last year as well. And, you know, he got some weapons. He know how to move the ball around. He know how to use his legs to make, you know, make big plays. And, uh, you know, we just got to key in on the details and uh, just make sure, you know, we we uh, we attack him the right way. Don't let him, you know, lose, get contained and get outside the pocket and all those things. So we just got to make sure uh, we take care of our business. You mentioned that during this uh, recovery process, it was a bit stressful just a little bit. What were some things you were doing outside of football that kind of helped with that? Uh, yoga. Yoga? Yeah, being able to... Um, you know, just get away mentally, just, you know, quiet and just doing uh, stretches and things to help me get back. But also just um, yoga help with a lot of mental, you know, just being able to, to get away a little bit and just, I don't know, just think, you know, stuff like that. And it just works in all, um, all facets. You know, I, I advise everybody to do yoga, for <laughs> sure. What kind of yoga do you do? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's 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 not normal yoga where you just sit there. And, hmm, <laughs> it ain't none of that. But it's like it's not hot yoga either. Okay. It's Vinyasa? just huh? Vinyasa, like the flow, like you're moving the whole time. Yeah, a lot of lot of movements, holding poses, but and then we, I I will I chill at the end. But during during the whole process and you know the the yoga work, I'd be moving, holding poses, and uh, just making sure everything is stretched all the way out and just. Being, you know, being good. Who got you into yoga? Were you doing yoga before you got hurt, or was something like you need to get into? Yeah, I had, I had actually gotten into yoga my rookie year, going into the season. Um, he was a guy named Joe, Joe Police, and uh, we've been uh, doing yoga for going on three years now with the football season. So it's not nothing new, but um, that's that's where I, really where I hit, uh, lay my head on going into this injury. This is going to sound really ridiculous, but I think because I've done yoga before, I understand you understand your body, mm -hmm. I feel like, a little bit better than maybe some other people do. How has that kind of helped you, especially when it comes to an injury? Do you think uh, you correlated at all? Uh, in ways, i will say, but um, I just felt like, you know, yoga, I definitely understand stretching and knowing, really locking in on things and not just oh, wow. going through the motions and doing stuff like that. But I feel like yoga definitely, it helps me in, all, in um, every way possible. And I do it like two times a week. Favorite right. pose? Um, I do child's pose. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You, know, you got to get off the shoulders. Yeah, you got to get off the shoulders. Yeah. Much credit because my wife deserves most of it. She's doing more of the work. But it's been amazing. Like, we're really enjoying being parents. So. Favorite part of being a dad so far? Which one would be? Just holding him while he naps, you know, just hanging out, watching TV for two hours, and holding him the entire time. That's probably my favorite part. Yeah. Overall, you know, the Panthers. It wasn't the best game for the offensive line, even the offense in the run game. So, what can you guys do a little bit better to get the run game going, and also maybe protect Marcus? A little bit? Yeah, no, definitely looking to improve off of the last game. It's not where we want to be. Um, really, I think it just started with today and the way. We, you know, kind of got back to the basics, understand what our objectives are and um, simplify things a little bit. And, you know, I thought we had a good day today going out there and getting a feel for what they're going to do. So it, it's really, you can't drastically reinvent something. You kind of just have to get back to basics and then um, get back to what worked well for us. And that's what we're focusing on right now. Going back to the personal experience of Thursday, I know you guys can't time the baby and it, yeah. and it happened to happen on a game day. Walk me through the experience of that day and just how chaotic the whole thing was. It, it was funny. I was talking to Maggie afterwards about it. And we both were, it almost felt like a fever dream. It was so surreal how quick everything went and um, just the way it worked out. I mean, the timing couldn't have been 
more close to catastrophic, but also at the same time perfect. So it, it was amazing the way it worked and then getting that whole weekend to, um, you know, figure him out and, and get to be a dad. And so um, looking back on it, we all also talking about, you know, it's going to make a hell of a story, something, you know, as stressful as it was and how anxious I was trying to get back, I, I don't think I changed it for anything. Yeah. I, I know Maggie was probably a little bit anxious too about the streak that you have going, how many yeah. games you've started yeah. in a row. Was that a little bit more motivation to go back and actually play that game? She, she's the best because <laughs> that she had to do her part and it, it was almost like a competition for her to like, I got, I got to get this kid out now. And she, it, like, like I said, it's like, we had him and then I had 10 minutes to hold him and I was out the door. So it was just so fast and such a whirlwind, but um, I, I can't say enough about how well she handled it. Yeah. How many games is it in a row? hundred something, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the number. Yeah. Was there a point you thought maybe you wouldn't make it? Like that it was gonna be out of reach? It's, it never got to the point where I was freaking out, like, there's not enough time, like, it's over. But it was a lot of, like, I don't know, it's getting close. Like, I'm, I'm getting nervous, I'm getting scared, and texting her, like, I'm afraid, like, I'm not going to make it in time. But, um, gosh, it, it, <laughs> looking back on it, it's funny, I kind of pushed it out of my mind, but it's almost stressing me out thinking about it now. It was, it was stressful, but... I mean, I run in the locker room, but it, it was like perfect time. By the time I got suited up and everything on, we're going out for warm-ups and, you know, had no routine whatsoever. I just threw all my stuff on and went out there, but um, it worked out. It worked was it out well. the team jet that pulled, or was it like Arthur on there with It was Arthur's him? private jet, yeah. Okay. So he, yeah, he, he definitely was a crucial part of making it work. <laughs> so I'm very thankful for what, um, you know, he did. What can you say about um, Marcus and, and kind of like how he is as a teammate and maybe how hard is it as a, a teammate to see maybe the not nice social media posts and things like that when it comes to, to Marcus? Yeah, I mean, I got the utmost respect for him. Um, just the way he carries himself and comes in, the way he treats his teammates and the way he works. He's a guy that'll never take a shortcut, never, you know, someone you can trust. So, you know, I, I still have a little confidence in the world in him. And he's done a lot of good things. We all have, but we've all made mistakes. So, um, you know, it's stuff we all need to, you know, improve and get back to winning and, you know, playing like we were, you know, a couple weeks ago. Um, I, we're a special group of guys and uh, we don't quit at anything. So I think we're in the pushing forward in the right right direction. Where do you see something maybe yourself personally that you want to improve for this upcoming game against the Bears? I mean everything, all aspects of the game. Uh, again, this is my first season, so I got a lot to improve on. Uh, a lot left on the plate out there, I believe, personally. Um, so I think improving all aspects of the game. Is there anything, though, so far in the, your season that you're like impressed with yourself maybe coming into the league, like something that you feel strong, maybe is like a key for you? I don't know. Anything? I mean, at the end of the day, I, I'm living out my dream. Um, I'm playing in the NFL right now, um, being pretty productive in it. Um, that's all I could ask for. But again, like I said, there's a lot left on the plate out there. I'm a competitor at the end of the day, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to get more. Yeah. What do you feel like is the biggest thing you've learned so far? The uh, biggest thing I learned is probably preparation for the game. You know, um, it's not like high school or college where you can kind of go out there and just go on a wing and play your ball. You know, everybody's good. Everybody got the same. Uh, competitive mentality as you, um, so you have to be mentally ready and physically ready for the game. How do you yeah. feel like the connection is with Marcus right now? No, I think it's great. Um, I think we're starting to build chemistry even better than what it was. Um, that's for all the guys too. Um, and again, it just goes back to I think we know what we have to do and um, how we got to execute that. Anything that you guys do particular in practice, whether it's communication or, or reps or whatever, when it comes to building that? Yeah, just being dialed into the details um, pretty much. That's what Coach Art um, he, he always says and, and always preaches, and, and that's what we try to do every day. Um, yeah. How do you block out the noise maybe when it comes to social media when some people maybe aren't, it's fans aren't saying the nicest things about your quarterback? Do you get defensive a little bit? Do you block it out? I mean, what do you what do? you do? Yeah, you can't really listen to the outside noise. I mean, I do get defensive over it, um, but at the end of the day, they're not in our shoes. They're not in this building at all, so they can't really tell what's going on for real. Um, and yeah, that, that goes for all fans pretty much. I mean, you, they're not in our shoes, you know, and we're not in their shoes. So I can't really tell them what to say or, or what to do, and they can't really tell me what to say or what to do, you know. Um, so, yeah, I just try to block all that noise out and, and, and try to keep a straightforward path.
Are there things you've learned from him, just working with him as one of the more veteran guys in this locker room, and then obviously being the guy who's trying to deliver you the ball? Yeah, mentality. Um, I mean, he's such a humble guy, and um, uh, the way he approaches the day, every day, is, is, is really, really cool to see, and um, something I don't want to follow in as, as well. With this mini buy, has it given you any more time to self-evaluate or what have you kind of done with these extra few days yeah i mean after every game you're doing self-evaluation you know but um we had a little bit more time um sit down uh with the coaches with marcus with the other wide receivers and just figure out what we need to do better and, um, and how we keep on excelling this offense